Hello Mech Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are building our Atlas today. Yes guys, we are doing it. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the next industrial hub, so we have a little bit of a less repair time. And I would say, oh, yeah actually, let's go to Sirius, see if there is anything good on the market that we can take. Then we go to New Home, because we also want to stock up on Cantina missions. And afterwards, there's a Hero Mech on market on at Altair. Uh, I don't know. We might find a medium or light mech there, which we are not interested in, but, um, you know, we, I might be wrong. We'll see about it. So, again, why the Atlas? Because it is an amazing mech. We have a hero Atlas here that is the boar's head, and it's all black. Crazy. Uh, and yeah, it has crazy quirks. Want to talk about it for a second? Very quickly. It has the Atlas Endurance, which gives us an amazing amount of armor plate. Normally, we would have 68 armor plates on the arms. This one gives us now 95 with the armored shoulders already and, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, it's also quirk towards energy weapons. It has six energy hard points. And I want to make it the energy boat of my dreams. Probably combined with the Gauss rifle, you know, a cold weapon that can be a company piece for this. But first of all, before we take a look at this, we will take a look at equipment and see if there's anything, absolutely anything here, that we want. And I see four AMS Mark II. They are really good. They are amazing, man. I want them, and I want them... ...and upgrade them. Right? Right now, we have the benefit of money. And that's good for us. Alright, I'm gonna take them, why not? A rare weapon is laser tier 3. Nah. LB20 cluster? No. Um... Should we start buying LRMs out that we want and just start upgrading them? This is the more expensive way to play the game. But it is viable. Yeah, like 15 clan Artemis. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. It'll take a bit of time and it'll be hell a lot of money that we dump into this. But I think it's gonna be worth it. It's LRM, what the hell? What is an S? Streak LRM, of course. Yeah, long-range direct missile system that fires 10 guided missiles. Sure. So I guess they have better tracking rate and stuff. Hmm. They're too heavy, though. I'm not gonna take them. Not gonna take them for what I have in mind. All right, so let's take a look at this. Any support? A spall liner again. You like it a lot. Gotta be careful with the money because it melts away quicker than I think. This is 850. This gives us damage reduction. So much damage reduction. For a little bit of a weight penalty. I'll take that. And yeah, I have some of them already, but I want more. I want every mech to have that, I guess. Harshal 1, no. I want Harshal 2 or 3. LB5, no. No. You say modular armor is good? Modular armor is wanton. Is it also one slot? Gives you 32 front component armor bonus. It seems actually quite good. I'm gonna check that out. MRM double. Hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, sensor powered. This is alright. I'm gonna take one of them. Targeting computer missile, targeting computer heat. No, thank you. Modular. We have not found any battle computers for the modular one yet. Not gonna happen. Yet. Weapon mount. What is that? You say I can have a 10% cooldown bonus and a 5% damage modifier? With these weapon mounts? You mean I can fire quickly and deal more damage? For the little investment of 340,000 C bills? <laughs> yes, please. I'm gonna take that. Uh, there's also a double XL engine, which I'm currently not that interested. I kind of want to go clan. No, for the safety. Mm, difficult. Double XL engine reduces our weight so dramatically. What would we do with it? I guess it's fine to have one lying around. Again, uh, 20 million. There's still stuff here. Spiked, fine, 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 fine. Uh, none of these engines matter. The 360, maybe. We'll see. 
All right, guys, this is it. We're going to start the build on the boar's head. And we're going to start with adding some cooling. The cooling of choice is proto double heat sinks. Uh, proto heat sinks. That's it. Um, because they lower our heat build up by 30%. Huh. We need more protos. Where are my protos? I have only one lying around here. All right. I mean, okay. Weapon mounts go on lower arm, right? Uh, where are weapon mounts? But I can never remember that. Here? No. Thought it was here. Maybe it's here. Oh, there it is. So we have weapon mount for higher ac uh, not accuracy. <laughs> Oak take that is. Uh, cooldown modifier and damage modifier, or we lower the heat generated the regeneration of by ten percent. I think it's the heat mount that we are taking here. It's an upper mount. Oh, I, th I thought it was a lower mount. This also goes there. We have lower melee, okay. So, fine. I'll take shoulder armor plus weapon mount heat on both arms. Alright, good. Now we need energy weapons, and we're gonna take the bestest one that we have, which are currently, uh, and uh, ideally, clan lasers. Hmm. They are largest? What else do we have? We have one heavy laser. We have some other lasers that we could utilize. Large Pulse Clan. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. So far, so good. Our cooling is Garbo. Why is our cooling Garbo? Because we have no engine core yet. Alright. Gonna fix that in a second. Um, The last weapon of choice would be... Man, I honestly don't know. This is a tier 1 weapon. It's a clan large pulse. Sure, it would very neatly sync up with this. Uh, honestly, you know what? Before we do this... Let me see if I can weapon upgrade. Clan large pulse. Sure. Upgrade 1. Yeah, it's gonna be a tier 2 now. It's not the best in the world, but okay. Uh, we have some medium lasers that we can upgrade. Sure. Regular good old mediums. Even better. So, AMS Mark II. We can upgrade those as well. Very nice. PPCs. I don't really care about that. Clan Streak 6. Clan Medium Pulse. Sure, that's good. And this is what we have now. Alright, it's fine. Good. So, back to the boar's head. We want this out. We want... What was it again? Uh, weapon mount heat. Two of them. Perfect. Now, ER large clan. One, two, three on this arm. We have three on each. And on the other side, we said we wanted the heavy laser. We wanted large pulse tier three, large pulse tier two. And we need a core now. So let's pretend we are going with a 330. That gives us three engine heat sinks, which will be filled with Regular old heat sinks, double heat sinks clan, that is. We have a good base cooling. Still a good chunk of heat buildup, so we need to push that down even further. Uh, proto heat sink kit. Nice. 3.49 heat buildup. About 2 cooling. This is already very good. That's amazing. Gyro. What about. You can use mask. Sure, why not? It's big, though. Four tons! Oh, God. Four tons and a lot of room. Now, uh, let's think about it. Maybe I'll put it here. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, sensors, electronics. Let's go ahead and put a powered sensor in the mech. I kind of want a clan ECM. Maybe even an active probe. Gives us a field of view already. Man, 1400 meters sensor range? <laughs> Too much. Do we take um, an improved one? And no, it makes no sense. It, it gets worse. We might might as well take the powered. Right now we only have laser weapons, no ballistics. Kind of wanted to get a companion ballistic here, like a Gauss rifle or so. We'll see. 
The mask, again, is taking a lot of it away. We could technically go double XL gyro. Takes the center slots and two on each side away. Gives us a lot of room. A lot of weight, that is. And it allows us to actually put a Gauss rifle into the mech. Is it Gauss? I feel like it should be Gauss, yeah. Ah, speaking of, a uh, 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 thing that I have not even considered yet was the following. Um, structural upgrades. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The heat is not optimal yet. And I also want Spore Liner. Because damage reduction is key on this guy. He's gonna pump out so much damage. We also need ammo. So let's talk about that for a second. I think Clan Gauss Double Bin should be enough with 65 rounds. We can even put it here for crit padding. And now we have one ton and three slots. How do we go about that? I need the laser insulators. So, there's that. By the way, it was four slots. Now we are one ton over, but we have a heat buildup of 2.7. We have a cooling of 2.3, which is absolutely fine. This is absolutely okay. Ah, targeting systems also cost us tonnage, correct? I could take the heat one and have no trouble at all. Nova is good, right? Laser heat generation, 15. Yeah, man, we go for Nova. Damn, 1.4! Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh aha, -huh, aha. Uh -huh. But that allows us to not use those laser insulators. That allows us to drop the heat sinks completely. But the laser insulators give us slots. The heat sinks wouldn't. The question is do we need that amount of speed? We got the mask, which gives us a speed boost of 50%. 50%. So we run 80 kph roundabout. That's alright. Any life support? Wait, life support is here. Small cockpit is an option. It reduces our agility a bit. Gives us a ton that we need though. And opens up another slot even. Uh, wait, it takes away the life support. Board. Yeah, I want evasion here. I want that. Definitely. Again, this is gonna be a tanky boy. I'm gonna drop a laser insulator. Or two. So... Is this the right build for the moment? Also, what happens? Wait a sec. 1.85 to 1.13. It's the same on either side. All right, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. It's fine. You know, keeping the lasers both a little bit cooler. Ha! Huh. There is also the question of. I mean, right now we are overcooling the mech. What about we drop a weapon mount heat? Ah, ah. And instead uh, put a weapon mount whatever in the mech. Where is it? Uh, weapon mount is here. The regular weapon mount gives us 10% cooldown reduction and 5% more damage on the arm. Huh? Gives us more trouble with heat. But I guess this is fine. There will be periods where we just cool, naturally. But we just don't care when no enemies are around. So we don't have to be on par with it. We have to just be eh, fine-ish. Then there's also again the other option that we can uh, bring back. We have one proto heatsink, by the way. It's certainly better. Is it though? Laser insulators in here. Right. Now we are one ton over. We are overcooling again. Which means this is our... Eh, I think the proto is not good here. I think the double heatsink is 
better. Because it gets us back to our optimal heat a bit quicker. Man, it's, it, you can do it back and forth as, as you like. This is just minor optimization. We could... Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. There's also one more thing. There's always one more thing. Um, we are currently running a 330 rated engine, which provides us three engine heatsink slots. We are not utilizing those three engine heatsink slots. We could drop it to a 320, lose one of them, lower our weight significantly, and do something else with the remainder. Let me see. How much is it? A ton. Hmm. I have nothing to do with a ton. Everything is filled up. I could lose the probe. Yes, we have too much sensor range for the bill. Actually, do we? No, not really. We could use the Gauss rifle early on. It's fine. ECM, active probe. That's the thing I want. That is the thing I definitely want. How do we go about that? I said earlier, I don't necessarily need this. Drop it like it's hot. Get more survivability in form of an AMS. We need a double bin of ammo for this, I believe. So how do we get the slots? Is evasion support important here? Do we go for the small cockpit? It would help us with... Uh, not quite enough. Guess the laser insulators have to go. Then we have enough for the double bin. Now it's getting sketchy. It's getting real sketchy. That's good. That's a very good AMS. Sure. The slots are the problem here. Okay. We have built a build. And I would say we're gonna just slap it on the battlefield and try to get something done with it. Also, Juggernaut is a good role for this. Um, it will move aggressively towards the enemies using jump jets, if possible, sure. And they do not break off if damaged. So they provide support with other units. And that's a thing that this mech wants to do. One more thing that I wanted to check. We have this modular armor. How does that fit in a mech? So, give me a sec. Drop that real quick. Can we put that on the arm? That's a lot of armor armor. Yeah, man. Modular armor is so good. It's very heavy. But it's so good. This is more armor on the arm than we have on the side also. It's crazy. Take a single bin. It's half. We have? Yeah. Okay, so we have the single bins here. Put it in here. Let's see if it works or not. I want to give it a go. It's a hundred days. Oh boy. And we also... Mmm, you also want to upgrade this, so let's go ahead and do that. More armor! More structure! Energy cooldown, yes! Missile range, velocity, no. Missile, missile, missile. Weapon range, velocity, no. Energy damage! Come on, where's the cooling? Give me the cooling! Laser duration, could be nice. Could be nice. Heat capacity is amazing. Heat. Energy heat reduction is good. Heat dissipation is what we need. Yeah, we got this. We totally got this. Another 4 million sea builds gone. Boom. 9 million back in our coffers. And that's where we... That's where we go. We're gonna bring this beauty to the battlefield today. Yes, I will waste a little bit of time. Um, but that's okay because, you know, the more we wait, the more stuff will come to the markets. And uh, the better stuff we can play around and build with. So, quick check in the cantina. Kill Haramoto. Yes. Kill Jäger. DD. Sure, we will find one. Kill Banshee. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Quick equipment check. Just in case. Van Flamer. Yeah, these are good. Buy three of them. Might even upgrade if we have more. Ultra 2 Clan. Not bad. And I like that there's more stuff in here now. Burn Speed Modifier. Don't care. Spiked fist. Wait. 
This is no weapon upgrade. This is a this is a arm upgrade, right? So you say we get more armor on that location, more structure, and lower our punch cooldown. Our weapon cooldown goes up. Um, and our punch damage also goes up. That is interesting, man. The so spiked fist with like knuckles work, maybe. Stick and peel quick sell. Uh, this is kind of like low tier harshal. No, I would say no. Interesting stuff that they get here. An arrow, sure. Harden armor, spore liner. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright guys, I'm ready. Are you? We wanted to take out the hero mag, but I don't think we're gonna buy it. And it, it, it's totally fine if we just scoot around a bit, because I want to pass some time. Hatchet man! The hero hatchet man. Interesting. Ah, that's a no. Man at arms. Energy cooldown, ballistic cooldown. Airs. Inter-air targeting? What does that mean? It's good against VTOLs. Ah. Alright. Again, since we're here, we're gonna definitely quick, quick check the equipment section. Just browsing through. I don't know if there's anything here, but uh, I have to check real quick. If I miss something, I'm not even mad. I don't want to waste too much time here in the stores. We want to get on the battlefield. That's what you are here for. That's what I'm here for as well. This is interesting. Clan Laser AMS Tier 2. Again, something that we can upgrade so that it eventually will be good. But not right now. Alright, so where do we want to go? 8v8 duel, duel, beach hat, defense, black market, cantina? That's my planet. Let's go there. Let's have some fun. Bam. Yeah, we also need to make sure that our sea bills are in, in a good shape still. Four millions left. Good. Black PPC, tier four. Build Battlemaster. Two Gauss rifle tier five. What? Excessive. I'll take that. We have those PPC. We could have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have them. Mm. Okay, again, it's a black market. We're gonna check that out as well. Looking at high tier stuff. And very quick. Evasion support again. Hell yeah, let's take it. I'm looking at this and I'm like, what the hell is that even? There's so much stuff here. No. Good. Alrighty then. You ready to go, guys? We want to play on a volcano island. Or in the polar environment. We're gonna play both. House Liao hates us, by the way. Negative 5,000. How does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> is this even worth it? Yeah, it is. Totally is. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll okay. And we will 100% all the time play our new friend, the Atlas Boar's Head. Where is it? Got him. This is fine. This is not good. I'll take the rock hammer instead. Arrow Atlas is fine. I guess we have some stuff that we can throw at our enemies. Let's do it. It's an 8v8 duel, so we also have some friends around. We're gonna use them as shields for as long as possible until the enemies realize that we are threats and we are pumping out a million damage each like second. We'll see. Attracting fire is a thing. The more you do, the more they will try to hit you in return. Okay, we have no weapon groups. I'm gonna change that real quick. Gauss rifle is on the six. Chain fire on the five. All right, here are the friends. I'm gonna alpha now. I mean, we are in a polar environment. This is all good. Ooh, and you can see our ER large lasers have a significantly longer cooldown time compared to the others, to the large pulse, I mean, they are pulse lasers, obviously. And I don't necessarily know where I want to go with this. This could easily be something like a full large pulse laser boat. Where the hell are they? Right, there. Oh, yeah. Wait, we have larges, ER larges? Do not hit yet. They hit us in return. 
what I'm saying is I might want to drop the Gauss rifle and instead just go all the pulses. It's too far still. 1800 meters is where we are with our range. Uh, we will probably wait for them. And I don't know if this make is even good. So we have decent cooldown. We have okay a sheet buildup. Um, it's not pinpoint because, you know, the lasers, they scrape all over the mech and probably hit multiple different components. And as a result, armor plates on the enemies. And that is usually not great. Pinpoint damage is preferable. Rotter 2C. Yeah, yes. Gonna cut him open. We are kind of second line, actually. Hmm. With that, I'm kind of doubting my whole I am the one with the armor guy. I'll be even attracting fire. It's working. It's for sure. I love that we can shoot at that range. It's amazing. Advanced zoom would go a long way here. I also see a dire wolf on the other side of the battlefield, by the way. Got him, nice. Next up, this guy. So, Santa Torso it is. Yeah, on a, on a large map like that, it's kind of, kind of interesting playing this. Because again, we have the range. Annihilator on the horizon, coming up. Gauss Annie. Dab. Very slow damage output, by the way. Because of the large laser nature of our build. Go for this real quick. He's eating the damage like a boss. I was wondering if I should go for arms to just disarm him, but you know what? Center Torso is the way to go. So, one more enemy. Who is it gonna be? Is it Annie? No, I think Annie is dead. Where are you? It's another dire wolf. I'll take it. God, he's melting away. It's your cockpit, buddy. Down he goes. Yeah, it was easy. It was very easy because we had a lot of long range on our side. The map was very open and we could totally play towards our strength here. I mean... It's a boar's head. It works. So far. I feel like large pulse lasers would be the optimal way because they have a lower cooldown. We can fire more often. They have decent range, the clan versions of them. They are also ER versions of them. Maybe? Or maybe. We'll see. Now, here it's getting interesting because I only have 22 picks. And that, my friends, is a heavy large laser. Four tons for good damage. And we have two of them here. It's also an Ultra 5 clan. Another ER large. You know what? I guess we need to play more duels against clans because that's amazing. The value that we can get here in terms of weapon systems is really good. Take the lasers. You know, I want to go for the heavies. Yeah. We want another dire wolf? Guess not. Who needs those? I don't think I want them. Uh, a stream LRM-15 or streak LRM-15 is also a thing that I don't really want because it's double the weight of a clan LRM-15. So it's 7 tons compared to the 3.5, which is in line with um, Inner Sphere LRM-15s. Same weight. <sighs> but I feel like spam is better than higher accuracy here. I'm torn. I'm very, very torn. So we're gonna take the lasers. That's that's it. And the last four picks go into Clan ATM ammo, because why not? We have some ATMs potentially that we can utilize. Alrighty. Here we go. Very nice. So the damage taken was not the highest. Alright. Uh Major Hansen got hit a bunch of times. In the back and in the legs. That's suspicious. Was it you, my my arrow friend? Did you betray your brother again? Uh, come on. So. Still Nightstar. We haven't seen Nightstars in ages. Crazy. 
Anyway, there's another mission. There are more missions here. We will play them. And um, there's a debate to be, have, to be had. Um, we found another two heavy large lasers. Do we slap them on the mech or not? I feel like the Gauss rifle doesn't really play towards our strength here, which is energy-based build. So what if we drop this? Ah. What if we drop those? Oh god, hear me out, guys. Is this a smart idea or is it complete garbage? Heavy, large, lasers. Year four. We have to do it like this. I don't like that. And the funny thing about this is that we can actually keep the Gauss rifle. What am I doing here? Give me my Gauss back. Van Gauss. And a double bin of ammo. Yeah. Problems with the slots at this point. Uh, Loose gyro. Yeah, slots are here again. So, alpha damage is better. And we have another turn that we can use to... What? Put another heatsink in the mech. That's it. Heat bank is actually quite good as well. At a high threshold, so we can... Ah, <clears throat> tonnage, sure. Uh, and I didn't utilize my mask even. Um, yeah, I completely forgot about that thing. Is that a necessi necessity? What about this? Heat bank? Oh. Um, weird. Now we are one turn under. We have nothing to put in the mech anymore. Yeah, heat is okay, it's on par. Um, heavy lasers, give us more alpha. Give us way more alpha. How much sustain do we lose? Because this is a 3.9 damage per second. If we go with the large pulse... Well, this is lower. This is lower. It's a better way, but it's way too expensive to build it now. It's just a thing that I have to keep in mind. Okay, so let's go back. We have the lasers. We are not utilizing them yet, but they will come. They will come to life here. Okay, it's a bit awkward that they take so many slots and I have to split them up. I always want to fire like one side at one time, having the same weapons that align very nicely with another, but it's okay. So, contracts. Let's go in again. We This time we play in a... Uh, Sure. We play in the hot environment. Let's see how that goes for us. This is a duel that we play alone. Yeah, 4v4. Confirm! The extreme weather conditions will interfere with your sensors and will most likely restrict visibility. Sure, 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 sure. Be careful out there. It's ready up. <laughs> Was I up there the whole time? Always forget. I always forget. Okay, then. Once more onto the breach. Again, this is just benchmarking my build. And again, it is not done yet. At the same time, what about the mask? Um. So AI uses mask and supercharger all the time without blowing up, right? That's a safety mechanic that they have there. There's this double net where AI cannot blow up your supercharger. Because they don't know when to use it and when not to. When it's getting into the red zone, it happens more than often that your mech just blew up next to you and you're like, what happened? Oh, I'm a supercharger. Sorry, boss. So, with a mask on this mech and an AI pilot, it would be very fast and would run to the front line, most likely, being where it wants to be, where I want it to be. And that is, on the front line to absorb damage. So, that's a thing. Go. Let's go. We need to figure out where the enemies landed. Most likely. Oh, I should have gone the other way around. Yeah, I'll do it now. Most likely somewhere in the middle of the map. What I can tell is that it seems like our mass holds for quite a long time. Now it's getting into yellow. 
Right, it's gonna hurt. Our heat. We have a base heat of 24 that is not going lower. 91! Oh god, the protos are kicking in and it's... Uh, uh, wow. Insane. You saw that on the lower right? Proto heat sinks trying to cool us dramatically. You see them now. I can shoot the largest. Your largest. Let me go around here. Bobbing is not nice. Um, come out to play, buddy. Very nice. It's a warhammer. I'm gonna take that side, and it worked. Yeah, I don't know about this build. Laser weapons seem very inefficient. They are very efficient in terms of weight, but the damage output is so weird. Yeah, all of my friends are dealing way more damage than I do. New target, ah! Here, Commander. Ah! Job well done. That was not bad. The Thunderbolt melted away quite quickly. Hmm. Hmm. I need to collect more data. Let's play the defense mission. LB10 cluster. LRM20. All of these are inner sphere thingies. I don't really care. These are high value though. I'll take them. V for 860. Sure. Do we want more mediums? Nah, I don't think so. And take heavy knuckles. I also don't care, really. Uh, where are we going with this? So many picks and nothing to do with them. I just start picking stalker parts at this point. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Here we go. So. Uh, it's sad. Wait a second. I dealt 250 damage. I'm on the higher end on that. But still. It's so weird. Also, I didn't take a single point of damage. It was very quick. Let's be honest. Man, duels are so good for value. I don't think I should play this. These guys hate us. And we will not get anything good from House Corita. We run, we're gonna find another mission, guys. Let's, let's go. Let's go somewhere else. Let's play Garrison Duty. Uh, lame. As endgame, as another duel. I'll go there, play another duel. Let's take a look. Well, you know what? Maybe this is what we do today. Just a bit of benchmarking. Oh, maybe gathering some more items. Contracts! Kurita. Independence. Oh, man. We are the folk heroes. <laughs> they really like us. Uh, but yeah, let's play the duel. I don't think I'm gonna play the endgame mission right now. Uh, maybe, maybe later. We'll see. So, and we're gonna go in once more. Another duel. Quick mission. Great value. Really want to get those heavies online. I mean, right now we have the benefit of enemies far away that we can hit with our ER larges quite a lot. The heavy lasers have significantly less range. Hmm. We want to play this as a super long ranger or like a midliner. I really feel... Yeah, we should, we should get rid of the gauss, I guess. We should go for the heavies. Large pulses, even. I want this guy to be in the thick of the fight. Since it has the extra armor, it has the damage reduction. This is a tank. Not a sniper. So I should build it that way. Heavy lasers it is. Win the duel! Let's go! And they are. Should have gotten the lay of the land beforehand. Taking the shortcut. But it's okay. Hmm. Have a thought. Since I have so many long rangers. Wouldn't it be better to just stick with the plan and just play all long range? Or is it what I it's just what I need? You know, the midline tanky dude. Also low ground is horrible here. We're gonna put ourselves in a such such a disadvantageous position. 
But it's fine. Again, we are testing. We're testing. I want a close distance. Let's check it out. The good news is our Warhammer 2C can actually keep up with us. So we will not be alone. Boop, boop. There we are. Uh, oh, God. Weapon groups, why do you not stay? Black Knight. Black Knight. <sighs> I'll take that. Very nice. Bark is melting as well. That's beautiful. Let's mask it up again. Let's go in there. Yeah, dudes. Gang crab! Now we're talking. Man, I wanted. Do I want it? No, I didn't want another King Crab. Never mind. That was Rogue Take again. I'm mixing them up so frequently. And the rocks are doing the work. Well done. Easy, baby. Easy. So, again, heat build up was okay. I should probably go to the mech lab and build the weapon groups there so that they stay on the battlefield. They forget sometimes. Uh, that's the thing that we're gonna do as well now. So, 3 million seabills. Come on, give it to me, baby. Two AC-20s, bunch of King Crab hearts. I don't know if I care about a King Crab. No. Again, good value here. Good AMS, good large laser. More AMS, please. Medium pulse, sure, why not? Then we have five picks. Those five picks go... into more assault knuckles case and ac20 ammo so again i'm on the high end of this 327 damage does it mean anything who knows who knows so atlas come over here no this one here uh where the hell are you there you are we need to actually choose the weapon groups correctly we lasers on the two gals on the six um, and I don't know if the AI uses chain fire. Not entirely sure. What does that mean? It doesn't need a weapon group, right? <laughs> AMS Mark II? That's kind of weird. That's the gals now. Sure. I don't want you to use hands at all. Do I? Maybe that's... No, I don't want you to use hands at all. Shoot them. Don't punch them. It's not efficient. Okay, apply that. Guys, we have a boss head. I don't know what to think about it. Let me know down below what you think. It's, um, I think it needs work. It, it definitely needs work. And um, I, I think I need to streamline the idea of the build. Next time we see each other, I probably put that into the hands of an AI pilot to see what we can do with it. We will play the high tier mission to check it out and i hope you enjoyed the episode today if you did as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye